What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, we are going to be building a custom intake today. Um, so I already went ahead and got everything taken out so you don't have to sit through that. It's pretty easy. Just got some, a few bolts there for the air box and then a couple of eight mils. Um, so I already got some parts in and I, I don't have a welder, so that's going to be the most difficult part of this. <laughs> I just got to find someone that can help me fab it up, but we'll get everything mocked up, laid out, and then uh, I think the hardest part will be the sensors. So if you look here at the RAM airbox, we got to get these two sensors into it. I mean, all we got to do is drill a couple holes, theoretically, and but... I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, so let's just dive over here. We got some parts on the bench. We ordered a couple of 4 inch 90s. I think that should do the trick. And then you're probably wondering what is in this huge box. Let me show you. An air filter. I have no idea. I have no idea why they sent it in such a big box, but uh, we got boot clamp or a boot for the turbo and uh, just went with a air aid four inch air filter. I like air aid, you could probably use whatever one you want. So I'll lay these parts out for you guys so you can take a look at it. We'll just go over everything we got real quick. All right guys, so we ordered a couple of 90s from Stainless Brothers. Um, essentially, that's what we got to build. Um, we got some clamps from Vibrant, a uh, four inch boot, this will go on the turbo, and then our air filter. So, I think in theory this is pretty simple to make, but <laughs> knock on wood, we all know how that goes. Um, and if we look at the stock, I mean, this is. I mean, that's essentially what it is, right? A couple of 90s. This looks bigger, but I don't think it needs to be that high. But I'm probably, probably wrong on that. Um, so hopefully the air filter will just sit right up in here. And then um, we'll just bolt, uh, take a bar across, weld that up for uh, uh, support. So let's... Uh, Let's jump into it. Okay, right, you just saw, I marked, uh, I started with a two inch. This is this further to the left or right. Um, tape mark and thought uh, we'll start small so then I went back and measured one inch so we'll go ahead and cut that one inch off there and see how it fits up in the truck so um, rather start with cutting less and we can always cut a little bit more off if we need it so we'll try that Alright you guys just saw, did the first cut, let's go test it inside the truck. Yeah that's what I thought, still need more. Still uh, hitting right here, so I guess we'll make another pass at it. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Let me turn this light on. Does that help? Yeah. So there it is. I'll show you here in a sec. Um, 
That is this pipe butted up all the way against the turbo with full use of the boot. I think that's pretty good. Still gives us plenty of room here on the oil filter. You can see right there. And if you look down in there, uh, focus, there we go. You can see it's butted up right against that turbo there. Um, and all the room right there. So, I think that's good. Plenty of room here. More room than the actual factory. So, I think, I think that's it for this little bottom 90. Let's see how the top one dresses up here. All right, here's the other 90. Damn, I can already tell I need a, definitely need a straight piece to go in here to raise this up some. All right, well, I'm gonna have to order that one here. That thing will be sweet. And I don't think this little, <laughs> this one's gonna do the trick, so let's see here. Grab you guys. Here's from this angle. So that's that. I mean, it'd probably work, but I think we need to get this guy more up here like this. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna order another piece. <laughs> measure that up, get it ordered in, and we'll uh, catch back up with you. All right, so as you can see down there, um, we're gonna need a little bit more than just the uh, two 90s to kind of get this up in place here, where I think it needs to go. You can kind of see down there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, get those, uh, some more four inch pipe ordered up, and uh, I'll catch back up with you guys when we get that in. So hopefully it comes in as quick as these did, so. We'll see you in a few. What's up guys? Uh, so we got some more parts in. Remember we needed a little like four inch piece. Well, this is all I could find in a four inch diameter. Uh, it was 50 bucks on Jags. I think it was on sale, but I mean 50 bucks for four feet. Probably use it for something else down the line. I already went ahead and got everything back in the truck where we left off. I was kind of messing with it off camera. I taped up these pieces. So if you don't cut it, if, if, if you're gonna go ahead and do this yourself, you could probably uh, um, cut this, that two, I think it was two inches off of the elbow and actually use it. So if you look here, uh, let's see. It almost comes out like perfect, like right where you need it. I don't know if you can, so then you wouldn't have to buy that whole uh, straight piece or anything. You could actually just use it straight off the elbow. Um, you know, live, learn. So maybe if we do this again or whatever, we know for next time. And uh, let's uh, go ahead, set up and measure what we're gonna cut. I might go a little taller than that now that we have four feet of it. And um, yeah, well, well. We'll cut the four feet there and get this taped up and then move on to the fun stuff. So let's get to it. Be a little high. Maybe have to take an inch off of that straight piece, drop it a little bit, especially to get down in there. I think where the air comes in. So I think maybe I might do that. And then we got to figure out where the sensor is going to go. Thank you. 
So I definitely like where this sits uh, better. That's the three inch piece, straight piece in there. And I think now, maybe we'll do our little bracket. <laughs> Pretty sweet looking. Doesn't like a little duct tape. So my idea is to get this um, behind this bolt on the alternator down here. Let's see. Right back here. Drill a hole in that. And then uh, we'll try and angle it back here and then be able to weld it here hopefully. And yeah, don't know how great that's gonna go, but figure it out here. So I just did a bunch of cuts instead of taking you guys back and forth, back and forth. I just showed you guys all the cuts I did. I was just doing a little piece at a time for the um, bracket that's going to come off the alternator to hold it up. Um, I'll go ahead and show you that here. And you also saw me cut the two pieces for the two sensors that are going to go in there. I'll show you guys those in a second. They're still super hot. Um, <laughs> you can see it stuck and was burning my gloves. It was so hot, the second one. But uh, here we go, here's the um, here's the bracket we got all in there. This is gonna re originally, I was gonna come off of, like have it hit under here, but I think this one's perfect so I can still get the filter on here. Um, let's see. So just like that. And then, yeah. Pretty good, I got it angled better too. I actually ended up uh, putting the clamps on down here. I don't think you can see them really. Uh, just to make this whole thing a little bit more secure. Since it's all being held together by duct tape right now. But, uh, so then I got, I got these two pieces. This is the one you can see my glove melted to it, still hot. This is for the bigger sensor, I think. I'm hoping this works. I'm not sure. I'm not a welder. But I'm hoping I can get this on down here. Like that. But as you can see, it's like, I don't know if you can fill that gap or not. We'll find out. But if you take this, the little plugs, you know, reach back here and tuck away nicely. So. I think that would be sweet. Hopefully, I really hope that works. Also, I think it's about a half inch hole I have to drill into this one. I don't know if, how that's gonna go. So, uh, I do have some in the well that just uh, trying to assume when they're free and can come over here and either tack this up so they can take it home or hopefully I can film them getting some welding in it. Um, Get their input on um, <laughs> these little sensor pieces or what I need to do for that. Um, so until that, um, I'll probably leave it here and we'll pick up in a few. So we'll see you then. What's up guys? Uh, we're back and don't worry, we've got it completed. Um, I know it's already powder coated and everything, but um, we for welding I ended up having to find someone else and 
Um, let's just say it's been a while and I decided to just go ahead and get it all powder coated up before I bring it back here and uh, show you guys what we did. So I'll go over here so we can get it all set up. Um, let me walk you through what we ended up doing. So right off the bat, the only thing that's really changed is um, we actually got <laughs> proper bungs or whatever you want to call them for the sensors. These are from uh, Black Market Performance. Those guys are pretty awesome. I hit them up, just asked if I could uh, potentially buy a couple of these from them, um, and they they did. So um, here it is. It's pretty awesome. Kind of sad I didn't get any of the footage of it getting welded up, but um, like I said, we ended up going down to a guy's shop and uh, I just didn't want to bring camera and everything in there. So um, he got it all welded up for me and then we took it to the powder coater. So I'll just get it thrown in and then we'll go for a test drive and uh, see how it does. I think we'll be pretty good. All right guys, there you have it. Uh, it's all installed. Um, looks pretty killer to uh, I think anyways. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Uh, let's go ahead, get it fired up and see if we throw any air codes or anything. Um, I also have a pre-filter I'm gonna put on this, so we'll probably do that here real quick and then fire it up. All right guys, there you have it. Let's, uh, no air codes came up on the dash as you guys saw. So uh, I think we're good to go. Let's uh, get this thing wrapped up and go take it for a test drive. What do you guys think? Let's go. Turbo on. 